Benson. Yeah. Benson preamp. Benson preamp. Preamp. Yes. Yeah. Bendo brand. Hey everyone. Hi, Doctor Nick. Hey everyone. <laughs> uh, Hi everybody. Hey everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Working Class Music. I'm Jason. I'm Tia. This week we are going to be talking about one of the coolest drive pedals that we have gotten to review and that pedal is the Benson preamp. So a little history. Released in 2018 the Benson preamp is based on the preamp of the Chimera 30 amplifier but instead of tubes it uses FET transistors kind of like Boba Fett. The result is an extremely amp like and versatile boost overdrive and fuzz pedal that imparts rich harmonics and a very musical EQ to your signal chain. It features a two band EQ, treble and bass. You can dial in a bit more treble for a bit more polish and sparkle on the top end, or you can boost the bass for a much fatter rhythm tone. You can also use the EQ to quickly switch between a distinct American style distortion. So America. or a mid-heavy British tone. Overall, it's super ballsy, and it's gonna allow your guitar to cut through the mix. The Benson preamp retails for $249. And I guess this is the part where we demo and put some sounds. So for this demo, we're gonna probably use a preset or two. That came in the manual. Just, just, just cause. And then after that, we'll just start twisting and turning at random my favorite part. Yes. Also, we do have the accountant from Fairfield Circuitry, which I'm sure we'll get to in the future as far as review. Okay, also before we get started, I am playing a 2017 SG standard, uh, limited edition Pelham Blue. I did buy it used, but as far as I can tell, the pickups are stock. Um, and everything else that has been changed is purely aesthetic. So it has the thumb cutters, it says Les Paul, and it has the vintage style tuners. Just for everyone at home who's wondering, which is like two or three. God, I just looked at the tabs and I don't remember. It's just, yeah, you can't. I don't listen to classic rock. I'm sorry, y'all. Poser. Right. You're what a it? phony. What a fucking SG. <laughs> Got an SG and don't know goddamn ACDC. Fuck, I should be playing like Green Day. This preamp, I don't know, I just made it up. Uh, it sounded Green Day ish. Yeah, they just move here to here to there. Alright. You say, you mind if I uh, take a little take a little dab? Have at. Yes. It sounds really good. Dude, that's why I brought the SG. Like, I played it through the strat, it sounded good, but through the SG, it's just like. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I guess the first order of business. Does it dad rock? <laughs> So yeah, it dad it 
It so dads. It, it dads. <laughs> yeah, so it does dad rock. I mean, it's not, I can't even fake this. Like, oh yeah, it's not like I didn't play this before because we both have played this, and I love this pedal. Yeah, this uh, pedal is sick. Yes. Um, let's see what what other riff I got. Crap, I'm trying to think of other songs. Then, oh man, um, this is how well prepared I am. Um, That's actually, okay. I was literally looking up tabs as we were talking. That's all I got. That's all I got. You so on to some notable players. One person I have to thank for putting me on to this notable player, Mike Adams. The notable player is Jessica Dobson from Deep Sea Diver. I think they are currently on tour as a filming this with Death Cab for Cutie. Nice. We got Aaron Gillespie from Under Oath and The Almost, which they have a new album coming out at the beginning of the year. Ariel Poston. And of course, another awesome Benson player, our friend Emily Harris from Get Offset. Oh, if yeah. you haven't seen her channel, go and watch it and subscribe. Like right now. Like right like, now. Right no, right well, now. after our video. You can pause, yeah, pause, pause this. Pause this video. Open up another tab. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So, final thoughts. Tia, who do you think this pedal is for? Uh, people who own a Gibson SG and an Orange Amp. <laughs> we have two right here. <laughs> No, um, I'm kidding. Honestly, that's like, it's the most perfect pairing. Like, it's just super satisfying. Just playing this pedal at home, I could not stop playing my SG just because of how great it sounded. Like, it does everything from like classic rock to emo and everything in between. It was just killer. So I would recommend it for anyone kind of in that range. Mm, okay. Um, yeah, I took the words oh. right. I, I mean, really? <laughs> Sorry. No, no, you're fine. It's fine. It's the synergy teamwork yeah but um really my thoughts on this and who i'd recommend it for if you are a drive connoisseur and you want one pedal to kind of replace your drive section on your pedal board i would recommend this pedal i think this pedal could do that you would have to do some tweaking every now and then so if you wanted to get the extreme fuzz sound you could do that or overdrive or a boost if this sounds this good it makes me wonder how good are benson amps i want to know yes like if you want to know let us know in a comments or we may do a poll on what should be the first amp we review yeah, let's check out our instagram yeah, we'll and, put our, it on. and our patreon yeah other than that i, I kind of try to refrain from tossing these out but i'm giving this pedal the working class music platinum stamp of approval it's one of the best drive pedals that i have ever played however the 1981 is still my favorite but this is a close second, a very close second. See, I'm not a striving shill. You know, I just named two pedals that I like more. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Uh, there is no cons to this. So yeah, buy it. It's 249. And they come in pink. Yes. Oh, and again, Chicago Music Exchange has a limited edition blue finish Ooh. that looks really awesome. Yeah. So I would Just say. A disclaimer, we are not being paid by Chicago Music Exchange, no. but if you would like to send me a shell pink SG, I'm not opposed. Or 
a shell pink classic vibe 60s jaguar or if you just want to hire us that too i'm yeah. going to chicago yeah, yeah like go, we're yeah. going to chicago now yeah. delicious food yes please don't uh, fire me yeah <laughs> but yeah any other thoughts on this not really. I mean, there's not anything I, I can say that hasn't been said already. Like you said, I love this pedal. Like this, the 1981, and before we started the channel, I had a, a Westwood by Earthquaker Devices, mm -hmm. and I love every single one of those. I'm not a huge drive person, or at least, no, let me reframe. Before we started this, I didn't think I was a huge drive person, but I am no, learning that I am. If I can slightly interject, and neither did I. It's funny because when we started this channel, it was just like, yeah, how are we gonna do drives? <laughs> and now every drive pedal that we've gotten, like- it's just been killer. Yeah, they've been awesome. Yeah, keep it coming. Any recommendations, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, we'll probably do a poll, but if you're interested in seeing some more just like playthroughs, let us know, we'll post it on our Insta. Yeah. So, with that said, I have been, I'm getting a text about a PS5, so I'm about to go oh, really fast shit. right now, <laughs> Jason Mays, and yeah, Tia, you can handle the rest. Oh man, <laughs> I'm Tia, I'm incredibly jealous, Bailey. I'm still rocking a PS4. It's all good though, I bought a gaming laptop, so if you play on Steam, if you play on Steam, you can add me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Adios. PS5! How do I play ACDC? So I need shorts up to here. Yeah.